Hi Justine, I am doing the, this video because I know you're going to love The Sims. So what I'm going to do is show you exactly what to do in the game. I've had to uh, narrate over the top of this because you couldn't hear me talking before. And so this is what I'm doing. So in the beginning you have to put in your email address and password that you put in to set up your Sims 3 account. And if you wonder why that's blanked out, it's because I don't want people knowing my email address. <laughs> so then that will load and you'll be able to pick out the world that you want. So we'll just let that load. Come on. <laughs> it takes forever on mine because I have um, lots of different expansion packs. In fact, I've got all of them up to um, seasons. So as you can see, I have lots of worlds here. Um, where you saw where it had the gold one, it's where you want they'll want you to buy it. But once you've got it in your game, it'll have the, the blue line. See where it's all highlighted? So those ones are playable worlds. So here's me trying to find the world that you'll have in the first uh, Sims game. I couldn't remember which one it is. <laughs> I've downloaded lots from the Sims 3 website. So yeah, as you can see, I'm still trying to find it. And once you've found it, you click on yeah. it. And that should be the right one about now. There it is. Nope. <laughs> Where's it gone? Nope, that's not it. Come on, let's find it. Where's it gone? There we go. That's the right world. So you just click the yes button and it will load up. Join me once it's loaded. Hi, right, okay, as I was saying, um, this is just a quick how-to for I Justine or anybody that really wants to know. I have all the expansion packs up to um, Seasons, apart from the Katy Perry, um, because, well, because I don't like it. Um, so I, this is more than just the base game. And I just thought you might want a few tips on how to start playing the game. As you can see, it's taking forever to load. Alright, this is the loading screen, as you will see it going into um, if you're playing just the base game. It's very pretty. Now, if you have um, people that you want to move in already, that you've downloaded from, say, The Sims 3, then they will be here. Um, if it's got a folder it means that you've made it. Um, if you've downloaded it, it has this little star shape. But to start off with, you should have these families. So if you didn't want to make one of your own, then you could move them in. But let's face it, that's boring. So you can create, or you can choose a household to move in and go from the top which is the goths um, and they all have their own difficulties and how easy they are to play the more people the harder it is to play but we can um, create a household so let's create one for i justine so I sped this bit up because it took about eight or nine minutes to actually do. Basically, put in the name of your sim. If you've got all the expansion packs, you'll be able to change human, fairy, whatever. These are all your skins and this adjust the body of a sim. And then there's the hair. So you can have hats or you can have just hair. And uh, you won't have as many hairs as I have because 
because I have downloaded or I've got the expansion packs. So we've given you lovely blonde hair because you have lovely blonde hair. Sorted out your eyebrows and you can be a bit more adventurous by going in and changing it all or just sticking with the face that they have there. Then choosing your makeup, your lipstick and that's basically to do a sim but have, just have a play around and do it the way you feel like making your sim. I'm giving her pretty clothes. I have lots of downloads which you can do from any website uh, that does sim clothes, Sims 3, uh, Mod the Sims and the Sims resources. These are traits that make your sim who they are and then you get to pick their lifetime wish. I always pick popular and then their food and what colour they like and what music they like. Then their voice, how they sound and then their star sign. And there you go, you have your sim. And now you get to play. This is what it looks like. You can get to pick a house. I always go for a house first, unfurnished, because then you can furnish it the way you like. It's Want really quite simple more money when you get to know it. There's a cheat that you can use by pressing Control, Shift and C and then type in Motherload and that will give you 50,000 simoleons every time. <laughs> So once you've made your house all pretty and the way you want to make it, you can get your sim to go out and interact with the world. Um, it's how you make friends and find... It's like real life. It's a simulation of real life. So I hope this has helped you a lot. I really hope you'll give them simming a go because I know you'll love it. So yeah, I hope this helps and happy simming. Bye for now. <laughs>